My name is Ed Rothberg. I'm the CEO at Groby Optimization. We're quite excited about our new Groby 9.0 release. In addition to performance improvements, it actually has more new features than any release we've ever done before. And most of these features have actually never been available in a commercial solver before. Our first priority is always performance, and this release has some substantial performance improvements, including a 10% performance improvement in our barrier solver, a 15% performance improvement in our MIP solver, and a 25 to 35% average improvement in our MIQP and MIQCP solvers. At this point, these numbers are preliminary. Uh, we haven't run our full set of tests on the release binary yet. Our new release includes a brand new solution improvement scheme. So if you want us to focus on improving your best solution, our new release is much better at doing that. One major new feature in our new release is a new bilinear mixed integer programming solver. This allows us to handle problems with non-convex quadratic objectives and non-convex quadratic constraints. Non-convex quadratic constraints arise in a number of different problems. One important example is pooling problems, which are quite common in continuous manufacturing. Bilinear constraints are also an essential building block for handling uh, complex nonlinear constraints. It's actually always been possible to build a piecewise linear approximation for a nonlinear constraint on a single variable. As soon as you have a constraint that involves multiple variables, though, piecewise linear approximations don't work that well anymore. A bilinear constraint allows you to build piecewise linear approximations for individual nonlinear constraints and then to piece them together to form more complex constraints. We've also added a new feature that makes it much easier to add piecewise linear approximations of nonlinear functions to your model. So if you want to add a polynomial function or a log or a sine, uh, we allow you to select from a list of nine different functions and then you can ask us to automatically add a piecewise approximation of that function. This makes it much easier for you to build and maintain models that include nonlinear functions. Another major new feature in our new release is MIP scenario analysis. This allows you to model an optimization problem and then describe a view of variance of that problem. So in the variance, you can change the variable bounds, you can change objective coefficients, you can change right-hand sides. Um, and then once you've described these scenarios, you can ask Kurobi to solve for all of them at once. This is typically faster than solving for each scenario individually. And that's because the solver can take advantage of the fact that it knows that you're trying to solve multiple related scenarios simultaneously. We've also enhanced our Python API to include a new matrix interface. So now you can use the popular NumPy or SciPy packages in Python to build matrices. And then you can use these matrices to build linear or quadratic constraints or objectives in your model. This is often a more natural fit with the data structures in your application than using the arithmetic expressions, which were, which were the only option in our previous release. So these were just the major improvements in our 9.0 release. We've actually got a long list of smaller improvements as well. We're quite excited about all the new things in our 9.0 release.